Welcome to Professional Tutors, the British Online School. We are a team of dedicated and qualified teachers here to help you reach your full potential. In today's lesson, we will look at fractions, decimals, and percentages. Our learning objective today is to convert between fractions, decimals, and percentages. I want you to focus on this point here. This is going to be very useful in the following slides. My fraction has a denominator of 24. It can be written with a denominator of 100. What can we tell about the possible numerator of this fraction? We're gonna explore that in a minute. Just have a look at this first. What is a percentage? Percent means out of 100. That means a percentage represents a fraction out of 100. We need to keep this in mind. Let's have a look at this example. 20% means 20 parts per 100. So 20 parts per 100. 85% means 85 parts per 100. And 3% means three parts per 100. Now there are some questions here for you to give it a go. So write each percentage as a fraction. For example, 50% means 50 parts per 100. And when you simplify that, that is going to be half. The 35% is 35 parts per 100. And when you simplify that, you'll get seven over 20. 6% means six parts per 100. Again, simplify that and you'll get three over 50. And 99% means 99 parts per 100 and you cannot simplify this number anymore. So that is going to be the final answer for this question. Now, how can we convert fractions to percentages? Now, what we need to do, uh, do is to convert this, the denominator into 100 first. Why? Because we know that percent means fraction out of 100. So if we can convert this number to 100, then it will be very easy to get to the answer. So how can we convert 10 into 100? You simply times 10 by 10 to go to 100. Now you use the same number and times this by the top number, which is the numerator. So in this case, it's three times 10 going to be 30. So now it's 30 parts per 100 and the answer is going to be 30%. So 30% is 30 parts per 100. Let's have a look at this question. Convert 3 fourths into percentage. Now I'm going to use the same rule again. We have to convert this number here, which is a denominator into 100 first. What can we do to convert four into 100? We times that by 25. Now we're gonna use the same number and times that by the top number. So three times 25 is 75. So that becomes 75 over 100, which is 75 parts per 100. And the answer is going to be 75%. Let's have a look at this question. Here we got the decimal number here. So we're gonna convert a decimal number to a percentage. Now what we have to do first, we need to write the decimal number as a fraction first. So 0 0.6 is 6 tenth or 6 over 10. And now we have to go from 10 to 100. 
And how can I do that? So it's 10 times 10 is going to be 100. And we're going to use the same number to times by the top number. So 6 times 10 is going to be 60. And the answer is going to be 60%. Now it's your turn to do these questions. The answers are here for you to mark. Do them, and if anything is wrong, go back, watch the video again, and give it another go. Thanks for watching. Please share and subscribe to stay connected.